when we were checking in but we made it and it's so pretty here and I'm about to rip off my pants and put on shorts because I'm warm this was my carry-on bag the lady at security had to open my bag and she was like oh I assume you're going to a beach you don't have nothing but bathing suits I did bring the bad luck bikini but I'm determined it will not be bad luck. Got bikini number one. I am in love with this and I'm so excited to wear it. It's like a halter. And this is from a brand called Shinesty. Feeling it. We found the water. Tuesday morning and something crazy happened last night. I didn't vlog a lot last night because we kind of just had a chill night and I was really tired and we went to bed kind of early. But at like 4.45, 4.50 this morning, uh, I woke up hearing the sliding glass door that is in front of me open. My heart stopped. I cannot even... I, I never, like, I'm a pretty hard sleeper, like, small noises, my alarm, like, crazy things do not wake me up, and somehow that woke me up, and I was immediately like, <gasps> Graham, and he woke up, I think, like, immediately, I don't think he heard it the first time, see, there's this door with a screen, and then this door with glass, ouch, so there were two sounds of like a sliding door and I woke him up after I heard the first one I'm assuming I'm not exactly sure what woke me up but we heard the, the door slide open and he was like hey and like jumped out of bed and everything it was just pitch black in here because um, we were sleeping so he goes over to the door and both of them are open so that's why I'm assuming opening the first one is what woke me up but it was just like so scary yesterday he noticed that the lock was broken on the sliding door and we were just like oh weird that's crazy and i don't know i guess i just like didn't think twice about it even though after that happened i thought like oh yeah we probably should have been a little more concerned about that than we were i don't know it was just like really scary like who would do that and then after that i was just like thinking about it forever like what why um, but we like called the people and they came and like fixed the lock immediately so that was nice um, and I felt a lot better about it but like it was really hard to go back to sleep after that um, the way that the porch is it's like completely open literally anyone could just like walk up oh it's getting foggy <laughs> but I don't know I just thought a lot about it and I'm like who why it was definitely not like another guest because why would they assume that the glass door would be open? Like how would they know that ours was broken? Also, it was like 4.45 in the morning. We were here, like of course we were here. So like the person that was opening the door, like they knew we'd be like right here. This is basically like just, we're all here in one room immediately so i don't know it just makes me think things and it's like so scary i think that we're gonna um probably try to switch rooms after breakfast or something but i did eventually go to sleep and i had like the craziest dreams in the world but we're about to go to breakfast it's a beautiful day does that freak you out yeah definitely. you jumped into action yeah. 
Yeah, if I had my glasses, I would have chased the guy. But why? To see who it was. Yeah. And then pulled off his mask like Scooby Doo, and it was me. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> We found the maze. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's official. We just ate breakfast and we're gonna move rooms. We're gonna kind of stay in the same area, but I don't know, I guess it's just kind of for peace of mind. <sighs> I'm definitely not the kind of person that like unpacks all their stuff when they get to a hotel room. I'm like totally fine with like a garbage pit a suitcase and just like rummaging through the whole time. But I like halfway unpacked this time, mostly because of Grant's trickery. Because no. he's, he's totally that person no, that like unpacks and makes it homey. Slandering me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you're slandering. I really, I'm me. saying something good about you you're because you're so neat and tidy and you do things the right way. And I don't so much. So I was under the influence of his neat and tidiness. And so I like halfway did it. And now I have to pack back up. So New room, who dis? Today's bikini is mermaid vibes. Can't see it that well. I've never worn this bikini, but I am is so excited to do so. Here's the bottom. The back is like a seashell. <laughs> and the top doesn't actually fit 100% so in case I'm uncomfortable I have backup white top. We got a different kind of balcony that is like all enclosed and I ended up going with the triangle bikini rather than the mermaid one which I'm very sad about but I would have been uncomfortable in that one. <laughs> That's... I just told you to wear it. Free the nipple. I'm a feminist. <gasps> Beep.